This is Good Morning Sun Coast. We're here for you. I'm curious about that. My car says get the highest grade stuff, and I think that can't be true. So I get the middle one. You get the middle one. That's a safe bet. Somewhere, somewhere in between Let's there. Split the difference. So we'll hear in yeah. that story coming up whether we need to do that at all or not. Yeah, that's yes. interesting. Some interesting results this morning. Wendy Ross is here for John Scalzi, and kind of a challenging forecast this week. All sorts, all well, over the board. It's, it's not so much challenging. We know what's going to happen. We do know what's going to happen. It's just the challenge is how do you dress? I mean, those are the questions that come to mind, especially at an hour like this. This morning, it's a lot warmer than it was yesterday morning, but it's still a chilly start to the morning. We've got temperatures in the 40s, and we are looking at 50s right along the beaches at this hour. So that's a different story than what we had yesterday. And we are going to see our temperatures warming up throughout the day as well. 49 degrees. We've got uh, winds coming in out of the south-southeast right now. We've got partly cloudy skies out there. We have another cold front moving on through so it's warmer today but colder again tomorrow all right thank you honey checking first alert traffic right now some build up there on 301 heading toward palmetto be aware of that otherwise state road 70 some congestion there in the westbound lane at the top of your screen you'll see university parkway uh, westbound toward the diverging diamond some congestion there out of lakewood ranch also the bayfront in the uh, northbound lane on 41 south county mostly clear though at 602 on your Tuesday morning. Our top story this morning, the Venice City Council will have its first and last discussion of the year about what should be in the city's new peer rules later on today. Details now on this from Marla Spence, who is live at Venice City Hall. Marla? Good morning to you, Ray and Stephanie. That's right. Decision makers will be under one roof this morning going over possible uh, decisions and also new rules that could be impacting the city of Venice. Now those new changes could also be impacting the Venice Pier. Now items that's up for discussion this morning is the possibility of security cameras on the pier as well as the possibility of a fee being charged to non Venice residents looking to use the pier. And this morning city, city council meeting is expected to start at 9 o'clock this morning. Coming up in our next half hour, I'll be going over other possible changes that could be impacting the Venice Pier and also residents in this area. Reporting live in Venice, I'm Marla Spence for ABC7, your Suncoast News. All right, thank you, Marla. All right, we are learning new details on yesterday's New York City terror plot. The man who allegedly detona detonated a small explosive in the New York City subway system at the height of rush hour told authorities he was self-inspired from ISIS online propaganda. ABC's Gloria Riviera has the story. This morning, authorities are learning more about what led 27-year-old Akayed Ullah to attempt to fully detonate a homemade pipe bomb strapped to his body during rush hour in New York City. Preliminary investigation at the scene indicates this male was wearing an improvised low-tech explosive device attached to his body. He intentionally detonated that device. At 6.25 Monday morning, authorities say Allah boarded the subway in Brooklyn bound for Times Square. Just before 7.20 a.m., he arrived at the 42nd Street Station. Soon after, surveillance footage shows the moment the bomb partially exploded. Smoke filling the corridor as commuters raced for safety. To me, it sounds like a, a gunshot, like a shotgun or something. Four NYPD police officers are being heralded for safely removing the device, a 12-inch pipe bomb stuffed with nails and rigged with a 9-volt battery using Christmas lights. If it would have operated correctly, we would be dealing with many fatalities uh, and many injuries. Allah is a Bangladesh immigrant who came to the U.S. seven years ago. He held a commercial driver's license until 2015. Allah told law enforcement he was self-inspired by ISIS, but that no one directed him to carry out the attack. The NYPD and FBI searched three different homes in Allah's Brooklyn neighborhood on Monday. Residents are stunned. You never know who your neighbors are. You, know, you just got to be careful. Akai Adela's family released a statement saying they are heartbroken by the violence and allegations being made against a member of their family. The five people who were injured in the attack are expected to make a full recovery. Allah, badly wounded in his torso, is still being treated. Gloria Riviera, ABC News, Washington. New developments out of California this morning where it's now been eight days since those powerful wildfires started and there are over 6,000 fire personnel continuing that fight. Active flames were visible from several major highways overnight as parts of the fire remain only 15% contained 
at best. The over 230,000 acre blaze is the fifth largest in California's history. Now, since the inferno first erupted in Santa Paula, it's destroyed nearly 800 structures, most of which were single family homes. The region isn't expected to get any rain until after Christmas Day at the earliest. Happening in Florida, we're learning more now about that loud boom heard over the weekend in parts of the Bay Area. That boom shook homes in Pasco, Polk, and Hillsborough counties. Well, now, a spokesman for the North American Aerospace Defense Command says that two F-15 fighter jets were given permission to fly at supersonic speed, about 760 miles per hour, over the Gulf, protecting President Trump during his recent visit to North Florida. The jets were on patrol in support of the visit, but were not responding to a specific incident. Help could soon be on the way for Florida farmers devastated by Hurricane Irma. The State Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services in early October released an estimated amount of the uh, agriculture industry that had, oh, excuse me, had sustained almost $3 billion in damage from Hurricane Irma, with almost $800 million in citrus industry losses alone. But many lawmakers fear the losses might be much higher. I still think there will be room for environmental priorities, educational priorities, and, um, and so um, the, the hur I don't think the, the hurricane spending will um, necessarily mean that there are other things that simply can't be done. Governor Rick Scott has also asked for $21 million to help citrus growers as part of his budget request for the 2018 legislative session. And Senate President Joe Negron says he'd consider a constitutional amendment, making it harder for the legislature to raise taxes. Negron says the Senate is working on a measure similar to Governor Rick Scott's proposal to amend the state constitution, requiring two-thirds votes by the legislature before raising taxes or fees or creating new ones. In August, Scott called for a constitutional amendment requiring a super majority before raising any taxes or fees. Right now, only a simple majority is needed. I do think um, that the, the Senate will take up the, a, constitu a proposed constitutional amendment that Senator Stargell is working on that, that addresses that issue, and I, I'm, I'm open to that. The House unveiled a proposal in November that would require a two-thirds vote by the legislature to raise taxes or add fees. Governor Scott thanked the Florida Highway Patrolman who went to uh, Puerto Rico to help last month during Hurricane Maria. Scott deployed the troopers in response to a request from the Puerto Rican Police Department. These troopers conducted security operations and traffic control in and around the city of San Juan. They arrived in Puerto Rico four weeks ago and came home yesterday. For the latest on local and breaking news, you can download the updated version of our app. iPhone users, go to the App Store and re-download it. Android users, you'll get our update automatically. In consumer news now, an interesting news study that says more expensive gas does not necessarily mean better quality gas. AAA says premium gas may not always live up to the hype. Now they tested regular and premium fuel in vehicles designed to run on regular gas. AAA recommends if you use regular fuel, use the ones labeled top tier to reduce engine deposits. But bottom line, if your vehicle actually requires premium fuel, stick to that guideline. But for others, you may be wasting your money. If you hope to spend, send uh, gifts in time for Christmas, you'll want to get those packages to the post office in the next few days. FedEx also has a Friday deadline for the standard ground service. The last day to ship FedEx for a guaranteed delivery is next Thursday, December 21st. The post office and UPS give you an extra day Friday to beat Santa. Just be prepared to wait in long lines with others who are also trying to beat the clock. That's right, and airlines are making a ton of money off those big baggage fees, $1.2 billion to be exact. That's how much was collected from July to September, just in those couple of months, according to the Department of Transportation. Now, those fees are up about 10% from the same period last year. The news comes days after the DOT announced it was scrapping an Obama-era proposal that would have required airlines to disclose fees for checked and carry-on bags at the start of a ticket purchase. That is such a pet peeve when you buy an airline ticket and think, okay, I'm, I'm paying this much, and yes. suddenly, oh, baggage fee makes yes. it this, this, and this. Yes. I got a great ticket. Oh, no, uh, I didn't. No. That's right. No, yeah, no, especially no. around the holidays. Yeah. You just have to pack light. That's, That's true. right. Roll everything. Yep. Pack true. tightly. Pack yes. light. Yes. Stick it underneath your seat. You're off to the race. Or, you or use Southwest Airlines. No charge. That's true. No charge. There you go. <laughs> There's always another way around. Things. Isn't that true? Exactly. Well, we are not going to get around the cool weather this morning, but we do have...
some warm weather for later on today, and then it gets cold again. Roller coaster. <laughs> yep. Also, head first alert traffic and election day is finally here for that special Senate race in Alabama. We'll tell you why the latest polls show the GOP might be in some trouble. We'll be back with more right after this. Here's a shot outside from the Rosemary District as we pan across the skyline in Sarasota Bay. Very pretty. Very lovely out there this morning. Looking good. It doesn't look chilly, but no. it might be a little bit. No, it doesn't look it at all. We'll have <laughs> Wendy's forecast and more news on the way. Patriotism. It inspires passionate debate. It's worn like a badge of honor with good reason. Because it means love and devotion for one's country. But what really makes up this country of ours? It's the people. To love America is to love all Americans. This year, patriotism shouldn't just be about pride of country. It should be about love. Love beyond age, sexuality, disability, race, religion, and other labels. Because love has no labels. Hi, I'm Chef Bob. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday morning on ABC7, where we'll be serving up the most awesome dishes. Then stop by your neighborhood Publix, pick up the recipe card, and all the ingredients. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. We promise we're more than a dealership. We're a destination with a movie theater, massage room, aquarium, cafe, and more. We promise to give you top dollar for your trade, even if you don't buy from us. And if you do, we promise you the best deal. Bring us any competitor's ad, and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. If you're only hungry for a slice of apple pie, why buy the whole pie? And you certainly wouldn't want to pay for an all-you-can-eat buffet. So if you don't use your cell phone that much, why get charged for a plan that's too big or even an unlimited plan? Luckily, there's still a wireless company that shares your values. Welcome to Consumer Cellular. Our average customer pays about $25 a month for everything they need. Many pay even less as plans start at just $15 a month. You'll get a straightforward bill that's easy to understand with no surprises and all the attention you deserve from our friendly customer service team. No wonder Consumer Cellular has received the J.D. Power Award for highest customer service three times in a row. Plus, if you're an AARP member, you'll receive special discounts. It's easy to switch. You can even keep your phone and your number. So stop paying for more than you need and start your 30-day risk-free trial today. Call 800-457-2317 Go online or visit a Target store today. Are you currently on Medicare? In other words, do you carry the red, white, and blue Medicare card? If so, are you suffering from chronic back pain? If you answered yes, you may be eligible for a pain-relieving back brace covered by Medicare at little to no cost, shipped directly to your home for free. These medical-grade back braces are ideal for lower back pain, arthritis, spinal disorders, and other chronic back problems. Will you qualify for a medical-grade back brace? Call Back Brace America at 1-800-683-9262. Check out My Suncoast Dining on MySuncoast.com, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. ABC7's own Chef Judy serves up her favorite recipes, cooking tips and trends, dining blog, step-by-step -step videos, and Suncoast Restaurant Guide. You'll find it all at MySuncoast.com slash dining. Well, you're going to notice it is still chilly out there as you're walking out the door. Chilly for Florida standards, but it is not as cold as it was yesterday, and it is going to be much warmer today than it was yesterday. So right now, we've got temperatures that are already in the mid-50s across the beaches in Anna Maria, Longboat Key at 53, Siesta Key, 51. But as soon as you move east and go on to the mainland, we are looking at temperatures that are a little bit cooler in the 40s for the most part. And this is true also down to the south of us. We've got Minnesota at 53, Englewood at 52. In fact, right here, very close to the water, all of our temperatures are in the low 50s to mid 50s. And then you move farther inland 
and you're looking at some cooler temperatures. So just dress accordingly because later on today you may be able to shed that jacket. What we're looking at right now is 49 degrees at the airport, partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies. We've got the dew points at 45 degrees. The winds are still coming in out of the south southeast. They're going to be shifting around and getting stronger later today because we do have a cold front that's going to be moving on in. Around the state you'll notice temperatures are not nearly as cold as they were yesterday. We had 20s over the northern part of the state yesterday, 30s earlier in the day yesterday, and so we're seeing quite a difference in our temperatures. And we're going to be warming up today to a high of about 72, 73 degrees. So that could be shorts weather for some of you, flip flops for others. And we're also looking at our temperatures starting to get cooler during the overnight time period. We will be getting down into the mid to upper 40s later on tonight. And then tomorrow, we're going to see temperatures back up into the mid 60s as this cold front moves on through. So the winds in advance of the front are in out of the south and then they're going to be shifting around and coming in out of the northwest once that cold front moves through. So you're going to start to feel the difference. As a matter of fact, if you're on the waterways today, small craft advisories will be put into effect. That cold front moves on in. We've got the cool weather coming and then we're looking at the possibility of some rain in our forecast as well. This is how things are going to be setting up throughout the week. 72 today, 62 tomorrow back down into the 70s Thursday and Friday. But Friday brings us the next cold front, which will be a wet cold front with a 40% chance of rain. And then on Saturday, we're back down into the mid 60s with breezy conditions at the start of the work weekend. All right, now we're going to take a look at your first alert traffic out there. It is starting to pick up a little bit more so in the 6 o'clock hour. If you're heading in from Ellington, you're going to see a little slow down there on 301 right by Feld Studios. And a couple other slowdowns, mainly 301 is touch and go in a couple spots. If you're heading southbound on 41, you're going to see a little slowdown as well. And a little northbound on, on State Road 45 as well. And in South County, that part is actually looking pretty good. Just a couple little hitches here and there on 41, but other than that, it's looking pretty good out there. All right, it is 617, and voters go to the polls today in Alabama in one of the most controversial Senate races we've had in years. You have to realize Alabama hasn't had a Democratic senator in two decades, but these sexual misconduct allegations against Roy Moore has turned this into a much closer race. ABC's Maggie Rowley has the latest from Alabama. It's election day here in Alabama, and both candidates were out fighting for votes late into the night. We're Alabama. We're Republicans. It's just time, folks, that we say no more. At his Drain the Swamp rally, Republican Roy Moore used the final hours before Election Day to once again deny allegations of molesting teenage girls when he was in his 30s. Any message to your accusers? No, true. Steve Bannon, President Trump's former chief strategist, took the stage to bash the more than 19 GOP senators who are urging Moore to step aside. There's a special place in hell. for Republicans who should know better. And his wife battling back against accusations that Moore is intolerant and anti-Semitic. Fake news would tell you that we don't care for Jews. And I tell you all this because I've seen it all, so I just want to set the record straight while they're here. <laughs> One of our attorneys is a Jew. Across the state, Democrat Doug Jones made sure to remind voters about the eight women who accuse more of sexual harassment and assault. Is Alabama going to stand with our daughters and our granddaughters that we will believe them, we will respect them? Flanked by celebrity supporters like Charles Barkley, an Alabama native who took the stage to question Bannon's support of more. Only in Alabama could you send a white nationalist separatist who don't believe in race mixing to come to Alabama three times and he would get cheered at a Roy Moore rally. That's crazy. In this traditionally red state, voter turnout is going to be crucial for both candidates. Doug Jones has worked to get out the vote in Democratic African American communities while Moore has focused on his conservative base. Maggie Rooley, ABC News, Montgomery, Alabama. 
And voters there in Alabama may get a phone call from former President Barack Obama today. He recorded a message imploring them to vote for Democratic candidate Doug Jones. The move comes after President Trump recorded a similar message in favor of GOP candidate Roy Moore. Obama's phone message targets black voters as their turnout is considered critical for Jones to win what's projected to be a very close race. In other news now, celebrity chef Mario Batali is leaving his restaurant business and also his job hosting The Chew here on ABC7. The moves are revealed in an investigative report on Eater, a new website for the restaurant business. Four women claim, yep, yeah, Batali touched them inappropriately. Batali did not address the individual accounts, but he did say the stories match up with his past behaviors. He told CNN he is deeply sorry for any pain or humiliation he might have caused. He was just featured a few weeks ago on 60 Minutes. He was, that's right, for his work in Puerto Rico. He's prepared millions of meals for uh, storm victims in Puerto Rico. It's quite a glowing account, it so was. this is certainly in stark contrast with that. 621 right now, still heading Good Morning Suncoast. Some new high-tech gadgets from Homeland Security. We'll tell you what they are testing to try and help keep us a little safer this holiday season and beyond when we come back. Here's a live shot of 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. The TV there will be set to watch the election results from Alabama today. I have a suspicion you are correct, sir. I think that's what's going to be the conversation there. More news after this. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. The following message is brought to you by Mesobook.com. People who have been diagnosed with mesothelioma have many questions. How did I get this disease? What are my treatment options? How will this affect my loved ones? You need answers, which is why we offer a free book written by medical professionals who have treated mesothelioma. Call toll-free at 1-800-777-1366 or go to mesobook.com. Attention, Americans eligible for Medicare. Are you getting all the benefits you're entitled to? Did you know there may be money available to lower your medical prescription costs? Call Health Markets and we'll tell you if you qualify. Hi, I'm Dr. Martin Jitsi. It's a new Medicare year. That means more changes and more confusion. The key question is, what can you do now to ensure you get the care you need in the coming year? Call Health Markets today. You may qualify to save money on prescriptions. We'll help you find plans that may cost less, cover more, and could even lower your prescription costs to increase your savings. We help you find all the benefits you're entitled to, and we do it at no cost. Make sure you have what you need to get the care that's right for you. Find out if you qualify to receive extra help with your prescriptions. Call the number on the screen now. Representatives are standing by. If you're between 50 and 85 years old, call the number on your screen right now for free information on how to save your family thousands of dollars. We're Family Love Plans, and we've been helping families just like yours for over 30 years. The average funeral today can cost up to $10,000 or more, but the most you'll get from government benefits is just $255. How will your family pay the difference? At Family Love Plans, we can help you and your family. Our senior plans start as low as just a dollar a day and pay up to $30,000 for a funeral and other final expenses. Peace of mind is easy. There's no medical exam and your plan can't be canceled. Better still, your rate will never go up and your benefits will never go down. Get your free information about our senior plans. Just answer a few simple questions and receive approval right over the phone. Call 1-800-707-3608. That's 1-800-707-3608. Patriotism. It inspires passionate debate. It's worn like a badge of honor with good reason. Because it means love and devotion for one's country. But what really makes up this country of ours? It's the people. To love America is to love all Americans. This year, patriotism shouldn't just be about pride of country. It should be about love. Love beyond age, sexuality, disability, race, religion, and other labels. Because love has no labels. 
at that. Not a bad shot outside our window right now. Out there. I'm loving it this morning. It's a little chilly, but it still looks beautiful outside. Yeah. And we have a special guest later on this week coming in. A performer from the West Coast Black Theater Troupe. You were mentioning that, that you went to the Motown show and you loved it. He's been talking about this all week. Like, you were very impressed. I with was that. so struck by that show. <laughs> so good. I want to help them some more, and we'll have a guest <laughs> in later on uh, Thursday morning. Hey, there's our respective Facebook addresses. Make sure you check those out. I posted a little 10 second video of one of our exchanges <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> yes, you did. Yes, you did. Involve pants. Involve you should go pants. to Ray's go to Ray's Facebook page and check that one out. That's yes, a good one. That's a good 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 tease right there, I think. That's or, right. Or just that the opposite. Right. That All right, is six, right. 625 right now. That is right. And the Department of Homeland Security, they're debuting some new gadgets at some of their research labs. ABC's David Curley tells us what this tech could mean for the future of security across the country. In this morning's GMA First Look, this is you and me, right? Homeland Security is working on some high tech gadgets. Some may come out of this secure research lab near Washington, which we got exclusive access to. Who would have thought? Pictures from Wi Fi? Exactly. But it works. Yes. Images of us as we conduct the interview. The idea that panels like this could be mounted in stations. You might not even notice them, but those radio waves could highlight metal or liquid objects. So these radio waves, I don't feel them, I don't see them. It is taking advantage of signals that are very low uh, to give us indicators of what you have in your bag, what you may be carrying under your jacket, things like that. And coming up at 7 a.m., another DHS research project, computers watching video. With your GMA First Look, I'm David Curley, ABC News, Washington. I accept I don't bike as far as I used to. I even accept I have a higher risk of stroke due to AFib, a type of irregular heartbeat not caused by a heart valve problem. But no matter where I ride, I go for my best. So if there's something better than warfarin, I'll go for that too. Eliquis. Eliquis reduced the risk of stroke better than warfarin, plus had less major bleeding than warfarin. Eliquis had both. Don't stop taking Eliquis unless your doctor tells you to, as stopping increases your risk of having a stroke. Eliquis can cause serious and in rare cases fatal bleeding. Don't take Eliquis if you have an artificial heart valve or abnormal bleeding. While taking Eliquis, you may bruise more easily, and it may take longer than usual for any bleeding to stop. Seek immediate medical care for sudden signs of bleeding, like unusual bruising. Eliquis may increase your bleeding risk if you take certain medicines. Tell your doctor about all planned medical or dental procedures. I'm still going for my best and for Eliquis. Ask your doctor about Eliquis. It's the holiday sales event here at Alex Karras Lincoln. Drive a brand new 2017 Lincoln MKX Sport Utility for $349 per month or Lincoln's flagship, the 2017 Continental for $449 per month. We have a great selection of certified pre-owned Lincolns. These vehicles have warranties up to 100,000 miles and come with complimentary roadside assistance. Alex Karras Lincoln, affordable luxury. Winner of the prestigious 2015 President's Award. Serving Florida Sun Coast since 1978. We are located two miles north of the Sarasota Bradenton Airport on US 41. The perfect musical for the holidays is live on the player center stage, packed with the big band sounds from World War II. The 1940s Radio Hour is our boogie woogie bugle boy answer to the holiday blues. Call the player center at 365-2494 or visit us at theplayers.org. The Players Wild Broadway series wishes you a Merry Christmas with the 1940s Radio Hour. Family owned and operated since 1979, Manasota Flooring has been a proud member of our community. We are proud to provide career opportunities in the flooring and cabinet industry, to partner with local organizations where there is an opportunity to improve our society and better our community, and to continue to provide the quality flooring and cabinets you want for your home. Manasota Flooring, so many possibilities worth exploring. This is an important medical announcement. Barred IVC filters have been linked to punctured veins and problems with migration. Anyone who's received a barred IVC filter must receive medical monitoring and may be entitled to substantial compensation. If you have the Bard Recovery G2 or G2 Express filter, you are in a class of patients who should be compensated for some expenses. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. This call is confidential. There's no cost and you may be eligible. 
Juries have awarded millions of dollars to people who should have been warned about the risks of the Bard IVC filters. Call the IVC filter hotline if you or a loved one has received an IVC filter and experienced a vein puncture or required medical monitoring. You must call now. Call 800-329-3089. 800-329-3089. Are you a soccer mom or dad? Regardless of their age or experience level, when your kids play soccer or any other sport, there's one person on the sideline who is key to help recognize and seek medical care for sports-related concussion. It's you. You need to know the signs and symptoms of concussion, and you need to act if you think your child has been injured. Remember, when in doubt, sit them out. To learn more, go to cdc.gov concussion. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004. ABC 7, your official Florida lottery station for the Sun Coast. This half hour on Good Morning Sun Coast, new details about a police canine that turned up dead in Northport. Plus, we'll tell you about new plans being discussed to turn a longtime farm into apartments in Manatee County. And it's the holiday season, and that means it's time to decorate. We'll tell you why local firefighters are warning to be extremely cautious this Christmas. Those stories more this half hour on Good Morning Sun Coast. Live from the ABC 7 studios, this is Good Morning Sun Coast. We're here for you. Look at that sky. It is beautiful out there. Welcome back. It is 631 this morning. Beautiful. Oh, gorgeous day out there. A little chilly on the, on the chilly side, well, but up, still looks beautiful. Upper 40s. We're getting used to this after two days. That's right? right. Well, my daughter headed back to Michigan yesterday where they have six inches of snow. So I'm going to go ah. ahead and say this feels okay for us right now. It is short weather yes. indeed. Yes. Let's get to uh, Wendy Ross, who is in today for John Scalzi. Hey, Wendy. It is going to be so much warmer today than it was yesterday, and you're going to feel the difference as soon as you walk out the door. Today, we're going to climb to a high of 72 degrees, still a little cooler than what we normally see this time the year, which is in the mid 70s, but we are going to be looking at those winds that are going to be getting stronger as the day progresses. Winds will be coming in out of the west at 15 to 20 miles per hour today, but right now readings are mostly in the 40s and 50s, but just as you saw, we are going to be warming up throughout the day. We have 49 degrees presently at the airport and the winds are not strong yet, but we've got another cold front coming on in today, so warmer today but it is going to be cooler again on Wednesday. So don't put away all of your coats and boots yet. <laughs> Keep them handy. There's the uh, traffic right now in Manatee County. Our first alert traffic shows us some buildups there on 301 in both directions on either side of State Road 70, otherwise pretty clear. As far as uh, northern Sarasota County goes, look at the university along the top of your screen. You'll see some issues getting out of Lakewood Ranch and also farther westbound near uh, Lockwood Ridge and Tuttle. Farther south, mostly clear at 6.33 on your Tuesday morning. Our top story this morning, the Venice City Council will have its first and last discussion of the year about what should be in the city's new peer rules later on today. There are several new rules on the table and I'm getting some mixed reaction as well. Let's go live to City Hall in Venice and here's Marla Spence. Marla, good morning. Good morning to you, Ray and Stephanie. That's right, the Venice Mayor, uh, Vice Mayor, uh, City Council and also Public Works will be meeting right here at the City Hall to go over a few possible changes that could impact the Venice Pier. Now, among many other proposed ideas, the discussion of the ban of tuning or the act of attracting sharks and fish by baiting the water is up for today's uh, discussion, and that's also a topic on today's agenda. Also, the discussion on the required age of those allowed on the pier and the time the pier will close is also on today's agenda. Now, if a decision is made on those items they'll be drafted into a city ordinance and then they'll be up for a review for next year reporting live in venice i'm marla spence for abc7 your sun coast news thanks marla new details about our top story yesterday here on good morning sun coast a missing sheriff's canine in charlotte county was found dead a necropsy report is revealing what exactly happened to the dog the Charlotte County Sheriff's Office says their canine, Edo, was found dead just off Cranberry Road in Northport yesterday. A necropsy report says the dog's injuries were consistent with being hit by a car. The dog had gone missing Saturday afternoon from his handler's garage. Many questions still remain, though, including how the dog managed to get out of his cage in the first place. Could it be something as the dog just got out? Could it be something as somebody lifted the gate and got it out? 
um, you know, we just don't have those answers right now. The Northport Police Department is still investigating. Officials did say the cage was still latched when the handler realized the dog was gone. New this morning, a Sarasota motorcyclist is in serious condition after getting hit by a car in DeSoto County. FHP says Kim Treat was heading east on State Road 72 in Arcadia. A Riverview man driving in front of Treat began to turn left, but she didn't see the man turning, and she collided with the left side of the car. Troopers say she fell off the cycle and then was run over by the same car. She was rushed to Sarasota Memorial. She's also now facing charges of careless driving. And an update now on a double homicide that happened in Sarasota nearly two years ago. Ronald Howard was sentenced to two consecutive life terms for the murder charges and 15 years for possession of a firearm yesterday. Last week, he was convicted on two counts of first-degree murder and one count of possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. Back in June of 2015, Johnny Campbell Jr. and Carlos Suarez were shot to death by Ronald Howard on 33rd Street in Sarasota. A Sarasota County man is facing up to 50 years in prison. He'll be on probation after that as a sex offender after his release. A jury found this man, Christopher McWatt, guilty of possessing child pornography. Images found in his home computer after a search warrant by the sheriff's office three years ago. He was convicted of possessing 40 images and videos of child porn on his external hard drive and computer. The crimes carried a possible maximum sentence of 600 years behind bars. For the latest on local and breaking news, iPhone users can now download our new app. Android users will get that app updated automatically. In northern Manatee County, a longtime farm in Palmetto could soon be developed. There's discussion about a project featuring numerous apartment units, which would be, then be built on the land owned by Heartland Fertilizer. Our Rick Adams has more. Well, even though this is still in the very early stages, there was a lot of talk of transforming this land into a mixed-use apartment complex, which could also include some retail space. If some folks have their way, it could be out with the old and in with the new on these more than eight acres of land on 11th Avenue West in Palmetto. Currently, the Heartland Fertilizer Plant sits on the property. They've been around for more than three decades. Now there is talk that a developer wants to build at least 150 market-rate apartment units, which would also have a retail component to it as well. It would be nice to see a change, I guess. You know, it, it, no offense towards him. I'm sure he runs a great business as well. I'm sure budgeting, he can't afford to, to fix it. But, you know, like I said, once again, if they're going to keep it a nice car apartment complex, great. This apartment complex discussion is being met with a lot of mixed reaction from neighbors. All Stephanie Danforth has lived right next to the fertilizer plant with her husband and children for 13 years. They say they might be okay with a smaller development coming in, but not in favor of this type of apartment complex, which could be up to four stories tall. To bring in a large apartment complex, it really is, is going to kind of take away from the character. Of the area. The land, which sits right next to the Palmetto Police Department, still needs to be purchased by the developer and go through the rezoning process with the city. Mayor Shirley Groover Bryant tells us there is definitely a need for more affordable housing in Palmetto and throughout the Sun Coast. We all need housing for the community, and um, certainly anytime you can help uh, the the community by providing that or enticing people to locate it in your area. That's something you want to pursue. And if all goes according to plan, ground could be broken here within the next year or so, and a new apartment complex could be here within the next two years. Reporting from Palmetto, I'm Rick Adams, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. When it comes to traffic, what's worse, the problem or the solution? LeftDOT wants to either construct a new bridge or extend the DeSoto Bridge, which spans the Manatee River. But some in that community believe it would actually hurt local businesses. They uh, divide the fiber of the community because you have this big structure now right through the middle of the community. They definitely lower property values, and I don't think anyone would be proud of that. And they also hurt uh, local business development. Public hearing on the overpass will be held later on today at the First Baptist Church in Bradenton. Happening today at 7 o'clock this morning, your chance to have a virtual ride along with a Sarasota County Sheriff's Deputy in the program called Tweet from the Beat. Twitter users will be taking on a virtual ride to get a better idea of daily life on patrol. Today's installment will feature traffic tips along the way. The Sarasota County Sheriff's Office began this program, Tweet from the Beat, last year in Sarasota County.
All right, listen up, all you Clark W. Griswolds. Well, all those holiday decorations can make your home merry and bright. They can also be dangerous. The Sarasota County Fire Department says celebrations can put homes at risk for fire. It suggests using battery-operated flameless candles instead of the real deal. Use flame retardant or non-combustible costumes and decorations. Now, if you are buying a real tree this year, make sure it's fresh, not shedding its needle, and make sure to keep it watered properly so it doesn't dry out. Also, just to be on the safe side, have a fire extinguisher in the kitchen and make sure everyone knows where it is and just how to use it. Seeing your house in flames is the scariest thing the scariest thing to wake up to. We get caught up with so many things that we forget some very basic safety reminders. Now for the outside of your home, don't staple or use nails when hanging up all those crazy lights. Clips are actually the safest option to use. Also check to see if your lights are approved for outdoor use. That one is a biggie yeah. right there. I turned the heater on last night. I was so cold. 3 a.m. woke up sweating. <laughs> oh my gosh. Put it back off. Well, it's warmer this morning. It's much warmer than it was yesterday and we'll let you know what we can expect for today and over the next couple of days because you need to have a wardrobe change. Exactly. That's right. That's yeah. right. And still ahead on Good Morning Sun Coast, the latest in Sun Coast first alert traffic and the award season is here. You're excited. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's we'll talk about some surprises and snubs from this year's Golden Globe nomination. But first, a peek outside over at the mall at UTC. Pretty shot of their oh, decorated Christmas tree out there at University near the interstate. I heard about the Detoli Cancer Center through friends of mine who had been treated here and were very pleased with the treatment. If there is prostate cancer, we at the Detoli Cancer Center will find it using 3D color flow Doppler ultrasound. And that helped precisely identify where my cancer was and some additional cancers that were not found during the biopsy. I would recommend the Detoli Cancer Center. As a group of human beings, they are unbelievably great. This is an important announcement. If you're between 50 and 85 and worried about your loved ones, you can still get affordable life insurance for peace of mind. My life insurance coverage is guaranteed, and I was not required to get a medical exam. I had high blood pressure and diabetes, and I got my coverage with one telephone call. No exam necessary. I'm a smoker, and I wanted to take care of my family. I called to get my life insurance and my affairs in order. I wanted to do the right thing. Call Final Expense No Exam Insurance. Your rates are guaranteed and will never increase. I called and learned that this insurance cannot be canceled, even if you get sick or gain weight. And there are no restrictions on how my beneficiaries use the money when I'm gone. Approval was easy, and the price was right. I wanted to do this for my children. Call 800-738-9812. 800-738-9812. If you're over the age of 50 and considering buying an annuity in the next 60 days, I have some important news for you. Don't buy an annuity until you understand the pros and cons of annuities. A free book to help you maximize your retirement income from television host and three-time author Josh Melberg has been released. This book reveals little-known truths about annuity strategies in simple-to-understand terms. Grab a pen right now because we are about to offer you this free book that unlocks the five little-known secrets we believe baby boomers and seniors should know before buying an annuity. Call 800-307-2040 now and and you'll receive a free copy of Josh Milberg's book, Next Gen Annuity Strategies Revealed. As a bonus, we'll also send you the number one mistakes retirees are making with their investments today and a free DVD on how you can get up to 33% more income in retirement. Call 800-307-2040 to have your free information kit rushed to your door. Again, that's 800-307-2040. Watch ABC7 wherever you are. Just search ABC7 on your streaming device to keep up with the Suncoast from the comfort of your couch. Download ABC7 now to watch us on TV anytime you want. ABC7, we're here for you wherever you are. Patriotism. It inspires passionate debate. It's worn like a badge of honor with good reason. Because it means love and devotion for one's country. But what really makes up this country of ours? It's the people. To love America is to love all Americans. This year, patriotism shouldn't just be about pride of country. It should be about love, love beyond age, sexuality, disability, race, religion, and other labels. Because love has no labels.
Oh, it is very pretty outside, and you can see just some of the cloud cover that we're also getting, but for the most part, we're going to be seeing fair skies today, and we are much warmer this morning than we were yesterday morning at this time. We're going to be seeing our temperatures climbing up into the 70s today, and not a whole lot in the way of rainfall, but the winds are going to be quite strong a little bit later on in the day. So this is what's going on right now. We do have temperatures that are mostly in the 50s along the coastline. As you move east, we're looking at temperatures in the low to mid to upper 40s and we've been watching our temperatures warming up throughout the morning hours and you can see all the way down through the coast once again temperatures are in the 50s but you move farther inland Northport, Port Charlotte temperatures are in the mid 40s right now under fair to partly cloudy skies to some cases seeing full cloud cover and 49 degrees right now at the airport we're looking at 45 degrees dew point that's been rising throughout the morning the winds are calm right now but we have another cold front coming on in and those winds are going to get very strong out of the west at around 15 to 20 miles per hour later today all around the state this morning 40s 50s even 60s down through Key West so everybody is much warmer and we're going to be warming up into the low 70s for daytime highs plenty of sunshine this new cold front coming on in today is not going to be much of a rainmaker we may get an occasional shower that comes on through but it is going to be a cold weather front that's going to be coming on in so tonight we'll see our temperatures dropping down into the 40s once again mid 40s will probably be where we're going to be seeing our temperature lows bottoming out and then and tomorrow during the day, we climb back up to about 65 degrees for the daytime high, 62 to 65. So right now the winds are coming in out of the south. Once that front comes on through, we're going to be seeing those winds shifting around and coming in more out of the west northwest, and then they're going to be much stronger. Once again, that frontal system is going to bring in some cooler weather, partly cloudy skies for later on today, and we're going to continue to see the opportunity for just a sprinkle maybe today. This is what it looks like. Breezy conditions, 72 for the high. Tomorrow, 62 for the high. And then Thursday and Friday, we keep our temperatures in the 70s, but on Friday, another cold front moves on in. This one will bring the opportunity for showers, 40% chance of rain. And on Saturday, we feel the difference with that cold front. All right, taking a look at your first alert traffic right now. If you're heading into Sarasota from the Palmetto Ellington area, you got a little bit of a slowdown there on 301 and another one right there on 41, as well as State Road 64. Just a little hitch in that one. Heading a little bit south, and it, but not too bad. Again, most of the congestion is up there near University Parkway. And then again, if you're heading down farther south into the county right there on 41. And another one farther south in the county. Not too bad again, just a little bit of congestion right there on 41 east and westbound as well. In this hour's Health Smart, if you get up several times a night to use the bathroom, rest assured you are not alone. There are small but effective changes you can make to get a better night's sleep. You can avoid dairy. Also limit your intake of fluids two hours before bedtime. Easier said than done. Also elevate your legs because swelling in your legs will make you go more often. And of course, no big news here, age is also a factor. As we get older, our bodies make less of a hormone that allows us to retain fluids so our bladders fill more rapidly. But you also might want to talk to your doctor because frequent urination can also be a sign of some underlying medical condition. And in entertainment news now, This Is Us, HBO's Big Little Lies and Guillermo del Toro's The Shape of Water led the 74th annual Golden Globe nominations. Now it is the first major award show coming on the heels of the Me Too movement and there's still a lot of questions about just how Hollywood will handle it. ABC's Chris Connolly is in Los Angeles now with more. We gotta go. Is everything okay? Forget out. Roast the keys. Just get the keys. And Dunkirk. There are 400,000 men on this beach. For Meryl Streep and Tom Hanks and Steven Spielberg's The Post. The way they lied, those days have to be over. And Saoirse Ronan in Lady Bird. Lady Bird, is that your given name? Yeah, for lack of vanity. And yeah, my lion will. Your sense of humor. Ho, ho, ho. And for Gary Oldman as Churchill. Margot Robbie as Tanya Harding. There's no such thing as truth. The news could be good, as the Golden Globe nominations are announced later this morning. But as award season begins, it is anything but show business as usual. The allegations and revelations of sexual misconduct by powerful men in the entertainment world. 
have forced an examination of the culture of Hollywood. To make matters worse, no one was more identified with the politics of awards season than disgraced studio chief Harvey Weinstein. On January 7th, the Golden Globes will be the first major award show to face the challenge of putting on a celebratory kudo cast in the wake of the Me Too revolution, while honoring this year's excellent work. Among others, nominations are expected for the powerful love story at the heart of Call Me By Your Name, the laughter of The Disaster Artist, the bracing rage of a mother's quest for justice in three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri, and just maybe, the glory of Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. All right, and this, of course, is our happy movie season for us film critics. Yeah. My top ones right now, I, Tanya, fabulous. Margot yeah. Robbie was amazing, um, as well as The Shape of Water. Those are my two favorites All of the right. season. And the Three Billboards one was good, All too. Right. Good tip. She's yes. good at this. I love movie this critic. <laughs> Up next, your day's top news headlines and caught on camera manatees huddling at a popular Florida spot. We're going to tell you why the cold water is bringing them together, literally, right after this. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. For a comfortable night's sleep with same-day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today. Sleep on it tonight. Get the best Black Friday deals right now during the Black Friday sales event at Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. Shop the area's largest selection of new Jeep Wranglers. Get KBB's 2017 Best Buy Award overall winner, the Chrysler Pacifica, for as little as $24,999. Or be one of the first to drive away in a 2018 Jeep Cherokee for as little as $19,999. Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota today. Glasses and contacts, you need them to see, but they put such a strain on your life, you miss precious moments. Due to new advances in vision improvement technology, LASIK is now affordable for almost everyone. With procedures starting as low as $299 per eye and over 1 million procedures performed by our trusted independent surgeons, LASIK surgery is a sensible, safe, and affordable solution to improve your vision. Our simple three-step process begins with a free evaluation, followed by an extensive pre-operative exam to determine if you're a candidate for LASIK eye surgery. Depending on the results of your evaluation and eye exam, you and your surgeon will choose the LASIK option that works best for you. So call now to talk to a LASIK Vision Institute counselor and schedule your free evaluation. That's a $100 value, free. Call the LASIK Vision Institute for your free evaluation and enjoy more of your life. Call 1-800-813-0109, 1-800-813-0109. A promise was made, a promise that hit the beaches of Normandy, a vow that captured Iwo Jima, a contract that weathered Tet, a pledge that stormed the desert in Iraq, an IOU that braved IEDs in Kandahar. A promise was made to America's veterans. DAV fights to keep that promise, so all veterans and their families get the benefits and support they earned. For help, visit DAV.org. Enjoy some of the best Suncoast restaurants on me. Just go to mysuncoast.com slash dining, sign up for the newsletter if you haven't already, and you can win a $50 gift card to a restaurant in our area. We'll pick a winner each week, so go on our website and sign up now. Keep up with the Suncoast. Watch your favorite ABC7 shows on your streaming device. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. 
For the last decade, SNS Motorsports of Sarasota has built custom high-performance vehicles for demanding clients worldwide. They're now bringing their 50-plus years of combined build expertise to the parts business. SRQ Performance Parts is your one-stop shop. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. This holiday season, share the greatest gift of all, peace of mind. Subaru is rated the safest and most dependable automotive brand. And all Subaru models with EyeSight are a 2017 IIHS top safety pick. Now during the Subaru Share the Love event, you can lease the most award-winning small SUV, a new Subaru Forester, for just $219 a month. Or get 0% financing with zero down. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Credit card debt can ruin your life. If you owe $10,000 and minimum payments are siphoning away your paycheck each month, Oh, that's nice. Just follow that's the nice. manatees if you want to know where the worm right. is. That was right? one of the yeah. first things people suggested when I moved down here was go and see the manatees at Crystal Lake. Yes. I have yet to do that. Oh, yes. it's delightful. Bucket list. 30 delightful. years, I've not done that yet. Yeah. All yeah, right, we'll go. All right. Here's a pretty shot from outside our studio as dawn is breaking over the Rosemary District. That is right. Stick around. Good Morning America is up next.